is the vector 14, negative 5, negative 41 in the set generated by or spanned by the set containing the vectors 0, 5, negative 1 and negative 2, 5, 5. If the vector is spanned by the vectors in the set, then it must be a linear combination of the vectors in the set, which means there must exist scalars c sub 1 and c sub 2 such that c sub 1 times the first vector in the set, which is the vector 0, 5, negative 1, plus c sub 2 times the second vector in the set, which is the vector negative 2, 5, 5, which must equal the given vector 14, negative 5, negative 41. To solve this vector equation, let's first perform scalar multiplication on the left and then add the two column matrices. This will result in a three by one column matrix where the first entry is c sub one times zero plus c sub two times negative two or negative two c sub two. The second entry will be c sub one times five plus c sub two times five or five c sub one plus five c sub two. And the third entry is c sub one times negative one plus c sub two times five or negative c sub one plus five c sub two. And this is still equal to the vector on the right, the vector 14, negative five, negative 41. And now let's write the corresponding system of equations where the first equation is negative two c sub two equals 14. The second equation is five c sub one plus five c sub two equals negative five. And the third equation is negative c sub one plus five c sub two equals negative 41. From here, we normally write an augmented matrix and then write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form in order to determine if we have a solution to the system. However, in this case, notice how the first equation only contains one variable. So in this case, let's go ahead and solve this first equation for c sub two by dividing both sides by negative two, which gives us c sub two equals negative seven. And now let's substitute negative seven for c sub two in the second equation and solve for c sub one. This gives us five c sub one plus five times negative seven equals negative five. Simplifying, we have five C sub one minus 35 equals negative five. Adding 35 to both sides gives us five C sub one equals 30. Dividing both sides by five. And simplifying, we have C sub one equals six. And we're not done here. We need to make sure that C sub one equals six and C sub two equals negative seven satisfies this last equation. So let's go ahead and do that now. Negative C sub one is negative six plus five C sub two is five times negative seven equals negative 41. Simplifying, we do have negative 41 equals negative 41. So we now know that when C sub one equals six and C sub two is equal to negative seven, the vector equation is satisfied, which verifies the vector 14, negative five, negative 41 is a linear combination of the vectors in the set, and therefore the vector 14, negative five, negative 41 is spanned by the set of vectors. But just in case your example doesn't have a zero as one of the components of the vectors in the set, let's also show the augmented matrix and also show we get the same result. So writing the augmented matrix from the system of equations here, we would have a three by three augmented matrix where the first row would be zero, negative two, 14. The second row would be five, five, negative five. And the third row would be negative one, five, negative 41. Writing the augmented matrix in reducible echelon form which I've already done to save time, gives us one, zero, six in the first row, zero, one, negative seven in the second row. In the third row, we have a row of zeros. And notice how, again, the result is the same, where C sub one equals six and C sub two equals negative seven. So to finish the question, the answer is yes, 
the vector 14, negative 5, negative 41 is spanned by the set of vectors. And the coefficients are c sub 1 equals 6 and c sub 2 equals negative 7. I hope you found this helpful.